There's a new AI image generation app you need to check out. It has image quality that rivals Midjourney, and it's been released to the public open source, and in many cases, free to use. It's called Flux, and it's from the group that created Stable Diffusion. They left that project, and they started their own company called Black Forest Labs. And Flux is actually made up of three different models. From Schnell, which is the fastest model, but has the lowest quality, to the Pro, which is the most intensive to use, but also gives the best quality. And then Dev is kind of in between, but generally it's closer to Pro in terms of quality. So in this video, I'll show you the easiest way to use Snell and Dev for free. And also show you the easiest way to use Pro, which does cost a little bit if you're using it in the cloud, but it's very cheap and there's no subscription costs. It just pay as you go. And make sure you stick around to the end, because I'll show you how to turn some of these amazing images you can create in Flux into little videos, which is kind of fun. All right, let's go. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have at least a free account set up on Hugging Face. And I'll put links to this and everything else in the video in the description. Next, you wanna to go to Spaces. And you wanna look for the ones that say Flux.1. So if you scroll down to the All Running Apps and Trending First section, these are two popular ones. And we see here, this is that fast one, that Schnell model I was talking about. The one I'm gonna use though is the dev one. So look for Flux.1 brackets dev. When you open that up, you're gonna see it says running in zero. And what the zero GPU is, is the community GPU. So this is like the free TR hugging face. So let's just put in a prompt. Let's just try a tiny astronaut hatching from an egg on the moon. And because we're using the free tier and the community GPU, it does take a while. So every image generation will take about 40 seconds or so. But I'm not gonna complain about free. Oh, there it is. That's pretty nice, actually. I like that. You do have some advanced settings here. You can actually grab your seed and then reproduce from a seed, as well as changing your width and your height. And one bonus tip, I find you can use large language models, like something like Claude, to really enhance your prompts and use it kind of like a prompt engineer. In this case, I just gave it a simple one and it gave me this really complicated prompt. Let's see how it works. I just paste that into Flux. And a couple of things about Flux that I've noticed is it's good at hands or pretty decent at hands. It's also pretty good at text and taking what text you give it and putting it in the image. And I find it works better if you put quotes around it. So in this case, it says subscribe to AI Unleashed. And there we go, actually, I got it perfectly. Really nice text here. I love the neon here. I would definitely just throw this just as is into a newsletter or something. And even the hands are really good. He's got the four fingers there. Yeah, super impressed with this one. So now let's give that big model a try, the Flux Pro one. And the easiest way I find to do that is to use Replicate. Replicate's basically a cloud provider that rents out GPU time. So you can run all sorts of AI models on here. To run Flux Pro, you have to put in your credit card and it costs a couple of cents an image, but there's no minimums or subscriptions or anything, so it's kind of nice like that. So for the prompt, I want to clot again, and I want a stock image from my Lucky Life Insurance Company. So I gave me back this pretty complicated and detailed prompt, and let's see how this works. That is pretty awesome. I mean, the text is a little bit blurry and kind of a little bit off, but the family is really good. And again, the hands are decent. Maybe the kid's thumb's a little big, I don't know. It looks like a bit of discoloration on the mother's hand. But all in all, this actually could maybe trick me at a quick glance. Yeah, let's try one more. And this one I want to turn into a video after. So I just got to get a single presenter. All right, so there's this one. I actually like that last one a little bit better. For this one, I almost find this looks like a wax museum statue somewhat, but it's still pretty good. So let's just try it out. Now to turn the images out of Flux into videos, you can use a tool called Runway. It has a generous free tier. If you just go down here and say text image to video, and then once you go in there, you just upload the image and then you can just generate a little four second clip. And here's what it gave me here for this one. I like the fact that it actually picked up the person in the background here, animated that a little bit. Even this big screen behind the presenter, it has some emotion there as well. And I mean, you're not gonna trick anyone, but it's kind of cool to start generating these things. And it's just gonna keep getting better from here. So on this channel, I like to cover more business use cases. And I think we're really just scratching the surface of what AI can do for that. Even you saw here, some of these images you could use for stock photography and maybe even make some logos and things like that. But there's still a long way to go for more advanced marketing material, videos, things like that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up on the latest. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'll talk to you in the next one.